Hi guys, Jason here from Lowen Roads. Today we're looking at a Swift Escape 674 that we've just gotten into stock. Now if you're interested in this motorhome or any that you see on the channel, hop over to our website lowandroads.co.uk. On there you'll find full details on this motorhome and information on how to purchase as well as every motorhome that you see on the channel. Now as I'm sure many of you are aware, to get brand new motorhomes right now is something of a, a difficult task. So the fact that we've got this in stock, it's here, it's ready to go, is really exciting. If you are interested, pop on down or give us a call to reserve it, because I don't think it'll be with us for very long. Now this is a six berth, five travel seats motorhome. Lengthwise, front to back, it's just over eight meters. And this is over three and a half ton. On the front, you're on the Fiat Ducato. There's 140 brake horsepower, six speed manual. You've got the touchscreen entertainment system here with dab radio, Bluetooth, and everything like that. Aircon. You've got privacy blinds up at the front, which just slides up here to the top. I think a really cool feature is the fan side blinds. So you swipe that back, pop that into there, and you've got a fan side privacy blind. Of course, that's the same on both doors. You'll see here, so under two and a half thousand miles, so it's really low miles this. Reverse camera up at the top here. Now in the front of the cab, we've got dual captain or swivel seats. Both of those can be turned around to face into the lounge area. And moving onto the lounge, you'll see we've got this nice big open space with an electronic table in the middle. You've got an electric drop down bed at the top, which I'm gonna show you shortly. But this is a nice spaced, it's nice, it feels open, plenty of space here. Six people can sleep in here, and I think with the, the two seats at the front that turn, six people are gonna fit comfortably. Now you'll see the two travel seats at the front. If you pop over into the website, you'll see photos of this. I'm not gonna be getting those out today, but we have three travel seats underneath. So we've got one here and one here. We fold them out, they face forward, and on the left-hand side, we've got another travel seat that packs away underneath there and that pops up facing forward, giving you the five travel seats. Now this table, of course, folds over like so, opening, opening up to the full area. You do have a lever, I'll just pop down and show you. Underneath here, if we grab that, we can slide it around, turn it and twist it, and sort of make it suit whatever you need at the time. Whether that's packing it away so you've got more space for footfall or moving it around to suit your, your dining needs. And that is electric. We have got a button just here. If we hold that, that will go down or it'll go higher, depending on how you want to do it. Now the table, when it goes all the way down, you can fix it onto these holders just here. And that's the structure for the bottom bed. So you've got a double bed here that gives you first two berth and you use the table as a support for that. Your second two berth is this electric drop down bed here. Now this is a really well thought out design. You're having no compromise with space. Whilst this is up here, you've got plenty of head space walking in and out. It's quite, uh, it's quite sleek really. So to get that down, unclap, un press your seatbelt off like this and above the door, here, you've got, you can turn this on and off, take your keys in and out. If you hold that, this pops out. Now people ask me often about heights of electric beds and how far will it go? And there's a couple of answers to that. So your first height, which your ladder will reach, is about so high. So you pop your ladder on there, you can climb up, 
you've still got enough space if you wanted to essentially have this as a, a double bunk bed if you can imagine the bed at the bottom your bed at the top or if you pack your cushions away fold them out of the way there's some rails down at the back there this bed will actually drop down perhaps another foot essentially being the same height as your waist so you're not you know climbing up a ladder you're simply just sort of pop it, popping on there and turning over to climb in some people do prefer that but when you do that of course you're losing the bed underneath but again it's all personal preference so you're seeing there that's your first four berth two at the top two at the bottom and that's your five travel seats going on into the kitchen here we've got the sink you've got your, your oven down here your cookers on the top as well as your electric hot plate we've got the dometic integrated flatbed microwave here that's all done that is a dealer fit extra it's done on this one you've got extendable kitchen top work surface here there's some handles underneath if you just click them down you can pop this down opening this chair up or popping it back up should you wish to have a bigger kitchen space behind me in the doorway of course you've got your bin your step and whatnot and above me you've got the control panel so this controls everything on the motorhome leisure battery vehicle battery lights draining down and such and this is your truma heating system here so through here you can control your heating and whatnot television wise here's all your plugging points you can pop a bracket on the wall here and you've got a television at the top so when you're sat in your lounge area here you've got a television pull it out on the bracket you're nice you're away going through the motorhome now we've got the bathroom that'll check out through this door So it's a separate toilet. You've got your nice sink area with work surface, storage, mirror, and here's your other shower here. So separate shower and toilet. It's a beautiful shower, spacious. You've got this lovely effect on the walls, really well thought out. It's a beautiful finishing detail. Fridge, dual, opening door fridge and freezer so you can open it both ways depending which way you're coming in hungry and then a nice unique feature about this motorhome is this end lounge and now instead of it being a u-shaped lounge you've got your two side cushions this does make up the final two the final six berth you slide these out pop the cushions down you're making a double bed here You've got this nice storage container at the end. You've got dual wardrobe space here. Rails up at the top. Same on the other side with some more storage up at the top. So this is very well thought out. It's a comfortable area. More storage. You do have a privacy curtain here that you can just pull across, separating the front from the back. Another television point at the back here. Pop a TV on. We have some USB points dotted underneath the shelves, very thoughtfully packed out the way. Keeping that design elegant and well thought out. And if you open the drawer, you've got another dining table. Like so. So you've got another dining table on the back. packs away like so now underneath this hatch you can open that up this leads into the garage which I'm going to show you in a second so if you need to access anything you've got a nice access hatch down below so this is the inside of the 674 it's spacious it's a long motorhome and it feels it when you're in here you've got this beautiful lighter colored design it feels spacious there's plenty of natural light coming all the way around. The lighting in here is well thought out. It's modern. It's really well done. Now we're on the outside of the motorhome. Of course, we're on the feet at front. 
and you've got this nice steel blue grey on the outside which leads into the escape decals. You've got your black and silver five spoke alloy wheels at the bottom. Some, some storage containers which are underneath the bunks. You've got the garage doors on both sides. Reverse camera. And on the other side, here's the other garage door. You've got a tall one there with a couple of hooks at the top. Now in the bag, this is an air awning. This comes with a motorhome. and the gas storage container. So yeah, this is a Swift Escape 674. It's available immediately. Give us a call or pop on down. We're in Stoke-on-Trent, Staffordshire. This is, a re this is available and it's ready to go. You could buy it today and use it this very weekend. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.